extranodal marginal zone B cell lymphoma of mucosa associated lymphoid tissue or MOT lymphoma is characterized by heterogeneous proliferation encompassing small and medium sized lymphoid cells with plasma cell scattered large lymphoid cells. This disease is often seen in autoimmune disease such as Sugar syndrome, harsh model thyroiditis, or infections such as H. pylori or hepatitis C infection. Plasma cell neoplasma, also known as multiple myeloma, is monoproliferation of terminally differentiated B cells. It is a multifocal accumulation of malignant plasma cells in bone marrow with latex bone lesions. So you're going to see the holes in the bones. The malignant plasma cells express CD19, 20, 138, 38, and a cytoplasmic light chain. IgG and IgA are secreted by the new plasmic plasma cells can be found in serum and the urine. The characteristic morphology of plasma myeloma or multiple myeloma is marked bone marrow plasma cytosis featured as large aggregates and sheets of plasma cells with cytological atypia such as increased nuclear to cytoplasma ratio, dispersed chromatin pattern, distinct nucleoli. The image here shows plasma cells in the pleural fluid of a patient with plasma cell myeloma or multiple myeloma. Plasma cell myeloma or multiple myeloma affect elderly people with median diagnosed age of 70 years old. Median survival time is 3 years. Clinically, they present with bone pain and pathological fractures because of these holes in the bones. Renal insufficiency caused by obstruction or direct damage by the monoclonal protein. Cytopenia is due to replacement of normal lineage cells by massive plasma cell infiltrates. Infection is due to decreased level of normal immunoglobins. The clonal immunoglobins deposit at different organs to form amyloid doses. Diffuse large B cell lymphoma, DLBCL, is featured by large cells in which diffuse proliferation of large lymphoid cells replacing normal lymph node architecture. The disease affects the old mostly, but also seen in children and young adults. The disease is localized disease involving a group of lymph nodes, but aggressive because of high proliferation rate. Prognosis depends on age, site involved, extent of the disease. Burkitt lymphoma is medium-sized, highly proliferating lymphoid cells with basophilic vacuolated cytoplasm. Diffused proliferation of large lymphoid cells replace normal lymph node architecture, looking like a starry sky at low magnification, as shown in the image here. The image at the bottom shows the typical Burkitt lymphoma cells. They are medium-sized lymphoma cells with round nuclei, clumped chromatin, and small nucleoli. Because of the high proliferation rate, Burkitt lymphoma is considered a medical emergency. There are three types of Burkitt lymphoma. The endemic one affects kids from 4 to 7 years old. Sporadic type presents with abdominal mass. The one associated immunodeficiency is seen in HIV positive patients. Mycosis fungoides is the most common cutaneous lymphoma affected people of 55 to 60 years. The image on the very top shows neoplastic lymphocytes invading epidermis. 
prognosis is excellent. Local treatment is good enough. Caesarean syndrome also involves skin, but much more disseminated, has leukemic presentation. Skin and lymph node are involved. It is an aggressive lymphoma and has poor prognosis. Peripheral T cell lymphoma. Unspecified is a peripheral T cell lymphoma characterized by heterogeneous, small, medium, and large-sized lymphoid cells, as shown in the image in the middle. It has prominent vascular proliferation, as shown in the image. The cells are derived from CD4 T cells. This is an aggressive lymphoma among older adults. Anaplastic large cell lymphoma are composed of large atypical cells with polymorphic nuclei and abundant cytoplasm, so-called hallmarker cells, as shown in the image on the bottom left. The image on the bottom right shows lymphoid cells have the typical kidney-shaped nuclei. CD30 and ALK protein are immunophenotyping features of anaplastic large cell lymphoma. This lymphoma is a common lymphoma in children. Hodgkin lymphoma can be classified into two groups: nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma and a classical Hodgkin lymphoma. Nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma is B cell neoplasma with rare neoplastic cells scattered within nodules of reactive lymphocytes. It is characterized by nodular proliferation of small lymphocytes and scattered popcorn cells. The large lymphoid cells with abundant cytoplasm and vascular multilobulated nuclei or Popcorn nuclei. The cells express CD20, BCL6, and immunoglobulin genes. The disease is mostly found in males in 30s. It is a localized disease and involves peripheral lymph nodes. Prognosis is excellent. Classical Hodgkin lymphoma is derived from germinal center. It is characterized by Reed Sternberg cells or RS cells in a rich reactive background, as shown in the image here. The Reed Sternberg cells that express CD30 have bilobe nuclei with distinct nucleoli. RS cells are diagnostic for classical Hodgkin lymphoma. Hodgkin lymphoma is featured by mediastinal lymphadenopathy Prognosis is depending on age, stage, and symptoms. That's the end of this lecture. Thank you very much for your attention.